you know, all that shit. I talked over those years, man, you know. I mean, I, I didn't really mean it, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I knew it wasn't making the fight. I knew we couldn't make the fight, man. Bob wasn't going to make the fight. That's why I resigned with top rank. I done fucked up, man. You know, all that shit. I talked over those years, man, you know. I mean, I, I didn't really mean it, man, you know what I'm saying? Because I knew it wasn't making the fight. I knew we couldn't make the fight, man. Bob wasn't going to make the fight. That's why I resigned with top rank. I done fucked up, man. You know, black people, you know what I'm saying, they they don't appreciate shit, you know what I'm saying. You, you could buy them a whole business and shit, you know, they still want more, more shit. So, you know, I'm cool on that, man. And I'm not trying to get fucked up fighting Eric Smith Jr. It is what it is, bro. And, you know, I got a lot of shit on. I'm, I'm trying to, you know, do a, a fat fuck, fucking fat chick challenge. Um, I want to fuck as many fat chicks as I can before... You know what I'm saying? I get old, you know what I mean? And I got my daddy now, so we, we going to probably try to get... All, all I'm saying, like the the black baby kids, they, they grab too many hot dogs at the fish fry. And too many pieces of fish. You know what I'm saying? You ain't putting nothing in on this. I, I brought all of it. So there's just a difference now because I'm a millionaire. It's just different. My swag, I mean, it's really hard to shake, you know, like a like a black person, a pole black person hand. It, it, it's like touching roaches now, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm a, I'm, I'm up here, like, I mean, saying I'm like walking different, I'm eating different, I'm feeling different, bro. I mean, y'all pull, man. I mean, I mean, like, I'm pulling white women and everything now, and um, it's, it's different, bro, when you got millions of dollars in the bank, you know, y'all look at life from a poor uh, people perspective, you know what I'm saying? That shit different over here. I know there are a lot of people that are going to want me to be ashamed. They're going to say, Bud Crawford, you should be ashamed of yourself. But, you know, I look at those people and be like, you know, I don't give a damn, man. I, this, this is about survival. This is about not getting knocked down for Luma Loom in front of my kids. Look, I, I don't care what nobody said, man. I, you know, I, I'm not trying to go out here and uh, let Earl, Earl beat my ass, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, I, I don't care what how I look or none of what you fools say out there. You know, um, I'm thinking, look, man, Earl is decent with that shit. That nigga can hit hard as fuck. I'm not really trying, you know, I'm trying to retire. I, you know what I'm saying? I want to be able to read signs and shit. I want to be able to enjoy my money. And, and, and I'm, I'm really, look, like, man, y'all call me a coward or y'all call me whatever, bro. At this point in time, you know, I was just kidding, bro. Just just call up air, tell him I ain't even fighting that nigga, man. That that dude on a whole nother level. I mean, look how small I am, man. That, that dude big as shit, man. I, I ain't know he was like that big, and I ain't know he hit that hard. So, you know, I'm, I'm just going to try to stay safe. You know what I'm saying? If I could re-sign with top rank, I'd do it today, man. See, a lot of y'all ain't never been up in the ring. Y'all just want to see Nick get his eye to out. You want to see my eye get busted up like uh, Ugas. But uh, I, I ain't trying to go out like Ugas, man. You know what I'm saying? I still got a lot of ladies that I want to see, man. You know, and I can't. Uh, I tell you what, man, if you, if you want to fight so bad, y'all go out there and fight Errol Smith Jr. You know what I'm saying? Y'all go out there. If y'all want to see a, a, a historical fight, y'all do that shit. Cause I, not me. I ain't fit to get my shit busted up. That's the, that. you go out there, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Cause I mean, go out there and get your ass. Well, you take your ass out there. You know what I'm saying? I'm not fit to get for Loom You know what I'm saying? I mean, I've, I've, I've taken enough punches over the years and I'm not in my last fight. I mean, I, I just see something y'all don't see. I just see, I see something y'all don't see. I, I just, I see, I see my eye getting, um, I see my eye getting busted, bro. And I see my ribs getting broke. You heard Derrick James. Um, I mean, you know, I'm just, now, you know, I know this kind of sudden. I know I'm going to wake up tomorrow and I know there's going to be a lot of people on my helmet and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, Eric, you know, Bud Crawford done pumped out. But, you know what I'm saying? You, you ain't going out there facing Earl Spring Jr. You ain't, you ain't fit to, you know, get. And, you know, all I got is one thing to say to those people. Fuck those people. You know what I'm saying? Fuck y'all niggas. Fuck all y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all y'all ain't going out here, you know what I'm saying, risking shit. You know what I'm saying? I got the WBO belt. And he can have the motherfucker, really. You know what I'm saying? I mean, look, look what that nigga did to uh, Udanis Ugas. I mean, y'all saw the eye. I mean, y'all saw the red. Y'all saw, y'all saw what he did to Udanis Ugas? Y'all seen what he did to Udanis Ugas? Y'all seen what he did to Danny Garcia, right? His eye was being worked.